Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. This is part two of Lake Como and what a beautiful view to start this video with. We went down to breakfast and I love going down to the hotel breakfast for the first time and it did not disappoint. We had some really nice coffee. Of course, we're in Italy. It's gonna be the best coffee in the world. And we had this view as well whilst we ate breakfast. Today we're going on a self-drive boat. This is where you meet to jump on it. I feel like I made a James Bond film, it looks very stylish. So we're just about to get on the boat in 10 minutes. It's a gorgeous day, 32 degrees and we're excited. We've never been on a boat without a skipper, so we'll see how Joe's driving is. <laughs> see how you can drive this for three hours. Do you think you can do it? Of course. Gorgeous day, but very, very hot. Crazy hot. Yep. Look at this. This is what the taxis look like. Exactly <laughs> like Venice. I just love the colour of them. They're so Italian. And then this is our boat. So that, I'm really hoping it doesn't do that because that looks horrendous. <laughs> Joe said it's because it's in the shore that it's doing that. But I don't know. Oh, blue. We've not got any seasick tablets, have we? <laughs> well, still. And then we're going to swim in the lake. We're ready. We have our rose ready for the trip. And they've just put a box of snacks or something on the boat as well, which is always good in my eyes. Go inside and relax. Go inside and relax. Uh, he's just taken the, the bath bottle off us and told us he would do it for us. <laughs> we see you later. We have a driver, a skipper. <laughs> So the best thing about hiring a boat on a lake is that you don't need a license, which we've never been able to do before on holiday. We always have to hire a skipper because we're in the sea. So that was amazing because I got to drive a boat, which I've never done before. And we found it so much more relaxing not having a stranger on a boat with you. Go on your head. Go on your head. Darling. We did drive a little bit too far out because we didn't give enough time to get back but we wanted to get to Bellagio and Verena where all the action was and where the water was much clearer so we were definitely late coming back. But luckily the Italians are extremely laid back so they didn't charge us for it thank god. Hi guys, so we just spent a whole day on the boat, um, well three hours but it felt like all day um, and we are just getting ready to go to Bellagio for a lovely walk around and um, we're yeah. we'll singing in the shower. We're going to eat at La Punta tonight which is a restaurant that's very casual and uh, has amazing views so we're going to go a little bit more like casual eatery tonight rather than 
fine dining. Wow, I've got way too much bush on talking to you. Turned out to be a great shout going there at night because they have cruises visiting in the day, so there were a lot less people. It was still quite busy, but not as crazy as it would have been in the day. I have to say, looking at the lake, the pictures do not do it justice. So if you're thinking of coming to Lake Como, do it because it's just incredible scenes. I would definitely recommend La Punta, amazing views as you can see, people use it as a kind of viewing point and the atmosphere was amazing, it's just so nice to listen to Italians speak and it was a really authentic atmosphere. The only thing is there is quite a walk, this is kind of one of the last restaurants at the end of the strip so beware of that. And obviously wear flat comfortable shoes because although there are roads it's also hilly and there are some cobbles. My hair looks so frizzy from the humidity. We are just on our way back from a lovely meal. Had a really nice meal. And we're on our way back down the hill in Bellagio. We had a good view of the lake. It's definitely busier down the bottom of the hill at Bellagio. We were at the top. Of all of the towns around Como, this is definitely the busiest at night, so I would come here for a bit of atmosphere. <laughs> Joe's left me. <laughs> These flowers, gorgeous. Oh, you just started to sit down. Okay, there, sir. May I join you? Yes. So Joe got some gelato, and I got a gelato milkshake because I don't actually like the texture of it. And then we made our way back to the car. So I'm going to finish this vlog here and then I'll have part three of this Italian vlog next week. So make sure you tune in for it. <laughs> 